Thank you, Vicki. We have a tasty treat for you this morning. Do you love peaches and raspberries? Well, you can combine all of your favorite fruits for a delicious peach melba. Chef Dan Whitman with Auguste Escoffier School of Culinary Arts is here this morning to show us how to make this daybreak delight. Good morning. Thanks well, thank, for being here. Thank you so much for being, uh, having me here. Um, well, today I wanted to do is a really quick and easy uh, dessert that was actually inspired by our uh, by our chef Auguste Escoffier. It's called Peach Melba, and it was um, he came he invented this because he was having this great dignitary was coming to see him, this famous famous star Melba, and Melba was kind of like a kind of like the Lady Gaga of like 1890. Okay. Um, so he was she was she he was coming to uh, to see him. He had oh my, I had to do something really special. So he came up with this dessert. Essentially, what it is it's, it's poached peaches and fresh raspberries tossed in vanilla ice cream. Um, but since we have great Palisade peaches this time of year and it's grilling season, I just wanted to grill those peaches. So I just, just, I just grill those peaches. Okay. Nice hot grill. Um, Do you treat them with anything? We have some here. Yes. Yeah, what I did here is I just, I just brushed them with a little olive oil before I grill them. Um, you want to hold your hand over the grill about 8 to 10 seconds. If you can do that, it's plenty hot enough. About um, about six minutes on each side, depending how ripe they are. But this will work with any stone fruit, but peaches work really well. And then after they're done, we just toss them with a little bit of sugar, some water, and some rosé wine. Okay, delicious. Now, um, how do we mix this all together? All right, so it's really easy. We just make a really quick raspberry sauce. We're just going to take some sugar and some raspberries and just kind of smash them all together. Well, can't that's get simple enough. Yeah, it can't get easier than that. Um, and just makes a nice little sauce. And we're going to do is just get, then we're going to then um, scoop the ice cream into the glasses. Okay. Really, really easy. And then, in they go. Perfect. In they go. Then we have some, then we have some of our peaches. Okay. That have been grilled with a little of our syrup. We really want to like include, a little, include a little of that syrup there because they had a chance to kind of sit. And you can do this ahead of time, which is really great about this time of year. So you could do this like early in the day and just let them sit and kind of know the little syrup for, you know, the rest of the day. Well, do you like the peaches warm or cold? You can eat, you can do them either way. So it's really entirely up to you. I'm always a fan of when I'm when I'm grilling or when I'm entertaining. I want to do I want to spend more time with my guests and less time in the kitchen, or less time grilling. Um, so I, I tend to do things ahead of time so that way I can just just go ahead and just enjoy my guests and this little raspberries uh, this fresh raspberry sauce on top. And it's simple. It's easy. It's fresh. You can get it at your local farmers market. And once again. Came from our, it came from our chef, August Escoffier. Okay, this looks beautiful and delicious, so I have to ask, was this important Lady Gaga of 1890s impressed with the peach melba? She was very impressed. She was okay. very, she, and, and the dessert became such a hit that he actually took this and he used it several different times. He opened, actually opened the Ritz Hotel in, in, oh. in Paris, and he was like, I, you know, I have this dessert that was really, really good. I'll do this dessert. And so he used this dessert over and over again and actually became world famous, and she was very, very impressed. Great. Well, it looks beautiful. I cannot wait to taste. I'm sure that there's spoons around here somewhere. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you so we much for having it. me. A very simple dish that you can try at home. And if you'd like the recipe, you can check out our website, kwgn.com. Tom, back over to you. All right, Chris Parente, not around.